Always lovely to catch up with our faves. And I am joined by Ndawan Andume. He's here to drop a brand new single for us, Yambi Didenge. The last time we had him on Wataguan, we were talking about a different song and he performed for us. That is during December when we took a trip over to the northern side of Namibia. Ndawana, yeah. get in here. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you are I, lo surprised. I love it. You didn't expect that, no? I didn't expect I it. I did that because you, you know that situation. You said you thought I'm not a show, I'm not speaking. Ex I used to listen to you a lot of time, uh -huh. but I never even anticipated that you are humble. Imagine, <laughs> imagine. How is the North doing and how is music in the North? North is boring, but it's good. <laughs> you're saying boring, but you're so excited. It is good. It and Yambi Dengue, how is it being received? How is it creating the song? Yambi Dengue, it's. Um, I think it's well received, mm. maybe because of the message that is in, uh, in the video, or in the song itself. But it's well received. I, I'm so happy because you took it to the people, Komatala, to Hi. shoot the video. Hi. Why? You see, um, if you listen to the song uh, properly, uh, it's, a, it's a song that I'm singing. If, if, you will feel that somebody is singing in agony. Mm. Somebody is singing in, 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 in a desperate need of, of some help. Yeah. You see? So that's why I was trying to show people that this and this is wrong to do to someone mm -hmm. and this and this is right to do to somebody. Wow. So that is what I'm trying to say. And, 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 and the part of Omatala, mm. they, you see, the first, I went there and I need to eat mm -hmm. something I don't have money. Yeah. You understand? I don't have money <clears throat> and people don't want to give me. So they were chasing me. Everybody was against me. Mm -hmm. But if you check at the end of the video, then everybody wants to take pictures with me because I was well off then. Wow. So even the people that were doing bad to me at the first time. And it shows you something because people treat you differently when you are actually somebody. It's like that. Yeah. Let's talk about your music. You have a very unique sound. Would you say that your Shuampo culture also inspires that? Yeah, it, it, it really, you know, I was, I was raised by, I was raised by, in an environment of, uh, of people that sing Shuampo mm. songs. I was raised by uh, Kuku Nangiri Nashima. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so she, she raised us very well, you understand? So that's why most of our songs, they are, you know, very catchy, still to the tradition. Yes. Why am I in Bipolu Pale? Yeah. <laughs> I need just, to know. Just the way I want you to just go on with the flow of Shibamba, maybe sometimes. Yeah. So you know, it, you're not, maybe you read that somewhere. I didn't read <laughs> it. It's because yeah. if, the, if your cuckoo raised you, then obviously you'd be Bipolu Pale yeah. around the fire. Tamu you know? Yeah. Your, uh, um, our, our, like my grandma and my mom, uh, they used to, to sing these uh, traditional songs. Nice. Some of them, they are, they are still on the radios, playing mm -hmm. on the radios. So that's when I, I, I develop a, a love of them. So most of those songs, they are the one now I'm turning into, into, into music. You know why? Because our, 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 our let me say in Africa, mm -hmm. we have these rich cultures and traditions. But if it's not well recorded and perceived, Somewhere, somehow, it may get lost. And people will not recognize you. That is a powerful point because you have been nominated in Ghana for the AfriFame Awards mm -hmm. as well as for the Cape Music Awards. In South Africa. Yeah, and, you know, I'm glad you said that because obviously you're doing something right for you to be recognized. Yeah. How, how did that nomination come about and how do you feel about it? Yo, I'm so super excited. And, you know, I I'm very excited that I'm getting nominated or recognitions outside, outside. of our country. But in Namibia, you know what is happening in Namibia? I have, in my contacts, I have a lot of uh, journalists in my contacts. Mm -hmm. When I post something, you will not see that in newspaper, only anyway. Yeah. But I'm still getting nominations abroad. Only when I have that, then they are rushing to me. Yo, tell us, tell us, tell us. But when I'm, I'm trying to raise myself with them, you understand? And, I don't know why we are like this And Wataguan? But we always... I love Wataguan. I love... <laughs> I love Helvi, I love Trina. You need to say it louder <laughs> that you love Wataguan. Look into the camera and say I love Wataguan, you people <laughs> love. <laughs> because we always see what you are doing. Yeah, yeah. I, I really love you guys, what you're doing. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and the upliftment that you're giving us, it's very, very uh, needed, especially yeah. to us, the up-and-coming musicians. So because otherwise, without you guys, 
There's nobody that is There's knowing nothing us. nothing at all. You said something very powerful to me uh, before the interview about producers, the lack of producers in the north. Mm. The, the fact that you always have to travel to Ventuk to get, you know, a good sound out mm. there. Mm. How do you think we can improve this? In the north, would you suggest that artists also learn how to produce? You know, I, I am suggesting that uh, artists should, uh, should really need, they really need to start learning how to produce. Mm -hmm. Because it's only when you know how to produce your own music, you can give yourself a better sound. Yeah. You know, we have a problem of artists that tend into producers. Now, when you go to an artist who is a producer also, it's not going to give you the best sound. Because competition. Because competition, <laughs> you understand? So he knows this is the best sound I can give this person. But it's not going to give it to you. Why? Because otherwise you skyrocket than him. Let's find out what you've been up to in the studio before I let you go. What can we expect from Dawana this year? An Your album? What are you cooking? It is a small package, <laughs> but it's fully packed. It is fully packed. The album is going to be called I'm Ready. Uh -huh. You know, I release... This is going to be my third album. Love it. I release albums only uh, after five years. My first, my first, my first album was 2015 called on Jiloile. The second one was Sounds of My Drums, 2019. Mm -hmm. And this one that is going to be called uh, I'm ready. ready. You are ready. It's coming you, you out. You are ready. I'm and ready. you are going to win an award as well. <laughs> Either in Ghana I receive. or in South Africa. I receive. Thank you so much for coming through, Dawana. Thank you very much, Elvi. And uh, all the best, man. Super you know, excited and I, happy I, I'm for going you. To be, I'm going to be daily guilty if I do not to give a salutations to my team. Please, please, the people, please. Yeah, the people that have been supporting me, the people that are there driving me. I have my team, the Friends of Progress, on I have the friends, uh, the producers, especially producers. Mm. Uh, Zunde Records, these guys really helped me. And, um, and uh, all the artists that I have worked with. The album is already done. Love we are it. just, you know, finishing up here and there. But uh, the artist Malienge, the oh, good artist, man. A you have lot such of a them. grateful heart. It's a beautiful yeah. thing to see. All the best, man. Thank you very much, man. Dawana coming through, Yambi Dudenge. You're seeing it here on Waterbury. Stay tuned.
now that you've made it, what do you have to say to your fans? Bumba da mando kwa taraje 